Green Lanterns, uh, number 43. Tim Seeley writing, v. Kenneth, uh, sorry, V. Kenneth Marion on art. I can't speak today, apparently. <laughs> uh, so this is wrapping up this uh, superhuman trafficking arc uh, with the, the Order of the Steed and Scraps and all this stuff. Jessica's like doing brain surgery on like 50 superheroes at the same time. Uh and yeah. t- talking about how she sway. I love at one point her ring because there's like, there's like a, one of the aliens like mutates into this like three headed beast thing, and I like that the, the, the ring is like, hey Jessica, there is like a, a knockoff like special effect from John Carpenter's The Thing coming your way. I appreciate yeah. that that very specific reference. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. I appreciate it loads. Uh, and yeah, so I enjoyed, I thought the action in this issue was pretty great. Uh, I liked all the stuff with Scraps. Scraps apparently does not want to cross that moral line. She does not want to like cause collateral damage uh, mm. and the bad guy kind of like preys on that a little bit uh, to get around her uh, but luckily Jess being connected to everything through all this stuff actually like jolts her through it and that kind of is what saves yep. the day uh, as Simon's going one on one with uh, the dude that kidnapped Nate Pilot so uh, oh, action was good art was pretty good as well I thought uh, yeah I agree It's uh, this almost suffers from being the wrap up of Okay, this is the end of the uh, art. Yeah. It's it's the big action sequence. It's what you what you expect it to be. It looks good. It does exactly what it has to do. Yeah, it's got that, some nice moments. Then the dude who's fighting Baz like kind of combines with the alien monster thing to make a bigger. Yeah, they're, they're, I think they're both Darlins, right? Yeah, to make a bigger alien monster. <laughs> so uh, yeah. that was pretty cool. That full page spread where it's like the big giant monster staring down Baz is pretty good. And then you got Baz fighting it with a sword and shield. Yeah, uh, and you have. A couple more hints of various things. You have the rest of the course show up, and they're like, hey, you did a good job, Lanterns, and Scraps is like, oh, hire me to uh, look after these refugees, like, escort them back, wherever they're going. Uh, yeah. And you got uh, Nate Pilots all back into Simon, because, you know, they saved the day. Uh, which kind of gets to, like, where there's potential things not to like, if, if you're against the idea of them having uh, Baz and Jessica ever being remotely a couple. Uh is Jessica oddly looks jealous when when Night Pilots kind of see? This is the thing. I don't think it was jealousy. No, it I jealousy. think it was more. She she looks disappointed, but I don't think she's disappointed about the like it's him. I think it's just that okay. oh look, he's got something and I don't. Okay, I like that read on it. I like that actually. I'll, I'll take that. Uh, but she's all nervous. She she doesn't admit that the, the dating app gave give her him. But he does. He's like, oh, by the way, what's funny though? I got you at one point. Uh, yeah. As he's flying off, um, but hey, so so the whole thing at the end here is that he's like, oh, you you're okay with being alone, and you're 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 all like comfortable with that, and then she goes in, she's like, yeah, yeah, comfortable, sure, <laughs> that that's what I am, uh, yeah. and you see that, so the, the ring throughout this issue kind of did went one step further and it kind of spoke in her head like it was the voice of God, uh, but it was, yeah, but you used Simon's voice, you used Simon's voice, yeah, which again, it's, it's kind of playing with her being kind of being insecure and maybe she's not sure if she's supposed to have feelings for him or, yeah, or whatever. I really don't want them to go down that route. I still don't think they are. As, as much as they're, they're definitely teasing it in some ways, I don't, I don't think that's what they're, they're doing. They're teasing it, but I really hope they're not. Uh, but we see that our, our ring, because we know there's a story coming up soon with uh, the Guardians realising that Jessica's ring's doing lots of things that the rings are not supposed to do. But we actually, it's, it's in the, the newest solicits. The newest solicits. And I think this is kind of where this is starting to go down this path, but yep. it, it's making like constructs who are talking to her in her room, uh, they, they, you know, they almost like, giving her company. And I'm not getting the impression that she's doing this herself. Like, this is not her doing this. I, I agree. Also, this is a, I want to give a shout out to the letter in here. Mm. They just look evil when they talk that way because the ring oh, yeah. has always got the same same speech bubble. It's got the same text font, whereas you see this, it's the squiggly bubbles. It's the the kind of the the shorter text. Is you know, it's a bit off, and it's just like okay, no, no, this is wrong. Yeah, it's the it's like there's like a manifestation of her like doubt and her anxiety and like all her struggles. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know this is obviously well, obviously her ring came originally. You know when when she first got it, uh, got her powers, you yeah. know was was the, the the power ring, and she went through all that stuff before. So it's like okay, it, it kind of preys back onto that. So yeah, 
Uh, so that's, that's seemingly what we're getting to. Uh, obviously, the, the, the story about the Guardians getting involved in it, or not until later, but it seems like some of this dress stuff is going to start creeping in uh, and maybe be the focus of the next little while. Yeah, uh, I, mean, I mean, it's worth noting, it does say here, next going hunting, and these people that are created are very clearly hunters. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, also worth mentioning, she is eating, uh, well, she's eating popcorn, but she's got a big belly burger cup next to the, the, the little uh, yep. uh, futon, and she's watching what looks like a horror movie, because there's a monster on the screen. There admittedly, is, and lots of clothes all over the floor. Admittedly, he is smelling, so maybe it's more like a Monsters Inc. type deal. But <laughs> I, I, I was, I was assuming she uh, was watching a horror movie because, you know, I like horror movies. So, uh, no, yeah, I'm with you. I, I like Jessica. Is shown, shown, she's got good taste with that, with the, the ring making that thing reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to pick it up from somewhere, right? So that's that's Green Lanterns. So it's a pretty good issue, obviously. Uh, we don't want them to go down this certain path. Uh, although you, you kind of helped me, talk me out of uh, some of my fears. I, I, honestly, my, my fear still comes back at the end where, okay, so the app did it for Simon as well. And, and you know, he's playing it off as a joke. He's like, yeah, it's funny, I got you. But I hope it doesn't go down that way. I really do. I still have faith that it's not. I, I, I think they realise that they've got a good thing with having them be platonic. I really hope so. Because I, I just, I don't want it to ruin it. 